Hi guys, it's Asterix. How are you guys doing? Um, welcome to Ballooning 101. Um, there's a lot of people currently using Ballooning to get to champions and I can see exactly how they do it. Um, this was my very, very first attempt at ballooning. I was never a balloon man. I just thought they were too slow and they would take too long to produce. But what happened, they reduced the time of things and of course I started playing around with balloons and heaven behold, I've actually taken a liking to actually ballooning. So uh, out of my attacks now, if depending what I'm doing, if I'm looking for dark elixir, I would be ballooning. If I am looking for elixir and gold, I'll be hogging. So balloons have become my newfound favorite. So for my very first attack, a three star was brilliant. It set up the trend for what I wanted to do with it. But of course, um, I learned from a lot of people that ballooned before me and uh, Brutus Maximus, who is one of the guys that I learned how to balloon with, had balloons, I think f the very first day the balloons came out, he, he, he got his balloons and he used them to great effect and level 6 balloons are by far the most devastating things that you can get. Now Brutus, um, he likes to bait out his heroes with his, especially the barbkin with um, an archer and a minion. He drops a minion on it so the barbkin just walks around casually say, why are you spitting on me? Who's spitting on me? Who's spit? And he's dead. And the archer queen, he's got a different tactic with the archer queen which is brilliant. He, he lures out the archer queen uh, with the archers just like we would normally do and he would normally kill the archer queen with, um, depending on the level, with a minion and his Barb King. So as you can see he's deployed his Barb King now and he's going to and he's taken he's got a dragon on it. So oh, dragon didn't even need it. It was quite a low level. And of course with Brutus he surrounds the base. He likes to surround the base, which is brilliant tactic. We've seen Daddy do it on his videos. So it works because what happens the balloons go into the middle and just take out anything in its way. And of course defences can only take one thing at a time. So by the time that happens with Rage, coast is cleared. And then you can just have your min minions as a mop-up crew. So as you can see, that is one of the best balloon attacks I've actually had the privilege of recording. From my mentor of ballooning, Brutus Maximus, who's currently in our clan at the moment. After a long visit out and he's decided to come back and join the fold so welcome back to Brutus and hope that you have a little bit more fun with uh, with the solid crew that we are um, there these other videos that I've got here that, I mean it is 11 minutes um, that uh, I've compiled uh, of some very very tasteful attacks from former Bombay players and current players that we've got and uh, this is a typical example on a kind of base that you guys would attack to get just 50%. Um, defenses on the outside, um, exposed down, that's important. Exposed down. He's got his defenses, he's got his air defenses in the middle, which kind of prevents you from getting 100%. But, you know, balloons are very reactive, they only go for the defense. So, what he's doing is just taking out the outer air defenses on this particular section. And once that's out the way, he drops his minions and minions clear out anything around it, which will give him his 50%. Uh, which is a, this is a very good attack. If you're trophy hunting with balloons, brilliant strategy. Uh, you get your 50% and you get out. You don't need to even deploy. If, once you get 50%, you can get out. But this particular one, you ended up with 64%. Now, this one was very good tunnel in the middle okay the one of the inferno towers was down which was good but it's got pretty high uh, air defense which I think is level 7 so he might have dropped the free spell just a little bit too early there I would have waited to deploy that so you could take out that inferno tower and there we go balloons going exactly where he wants it in the middle inferno tower uh, uh, frozen so that's gone that's history but what's interesting with this video is that he takes out the town hall just purely on splash damage done by the balloons taking out the defenses around the town hall which is also something you guys got to consider when you guys are doing 
defenses just give your town all a bit of space just because of splash damage so yeah, it was a brilliant attack. He got his two star based on the fact that he uh, destroyed everything around the town hall and took it down. It was a free, free, free fall. Now, people say, can you balloon in champions? There are champions currently ballooning. Don't get me wrong, they are ballooning at that level. So uh, the next video you guys are going to watch is a typical example on ballooning at champions level basically what I've just repeated in the video before 50% that's all you're looking for at champions levels with balloons is but it's how you go about getting the 50% and what you do obviously you got to take out your town hall because at champions level there is uh, uh, troops there is the archer queen so the most important take out your archer queen and take out your um, your clan castle that's one uh, that's rule num the golden rule in ballooning take out your t clan castle and take out your archer queen because they can do damage to your balloons especially if they're wizards or archers they mow them down very quickly so he's taking care of these things so now he's deploying his balloons strategically he's not throwing them all over the place okay he's doing it systematically to take out certain defenses like the teslas which tend to cause a little bit of damage so he's coming from the top. So the reason why he's coming from the top is that there's hardly any defenses. The infernos are more or less in the middle. So he's taking out the big defenses and hopefully trying to get there, get as much damage as he can. So he's got already up to 30%. So if you have to calculate and look what is still remaining, there we go. He's up to 30%. So he's dropped the minions very strategically to take out. The remainders, which will work it more or less up to 50%, and maybe drop his heroes to take out the balance. So, yeah, there we go. He's already at 40%, and he's still got a couple of minions. There we go. There's his. There we go. He's got his cups. So, he's happy with that. 12 cups with balloons, and got a bit of gold with it. Now, this is another attack. Town all outside. That's going to be an easy victory, uh, a champion's level, obviously trying to look for a shield, very tired of being attacked maybe, this particular guy. So he's got his victory already, but it's how he goes about deploying his, um, his balloons afterwards, taking only, concentrating only on the archer towers and the, the outer defenses. Because if you have to calculate all that, that is 50%. So he'll get a two-star with this at champion level. So this is ballooning at top 10. As you can see, the uh, the player was king from Bombay, Canada. When I was privileged enough to actually do some recording up there. Um, and I got the, this particular balloon, too, which was brilliant. Because at the time, I was trying to put a series together for balloons. And this worked out perfectly. So as you can see... At the highest level, this is what ballooning, what kind of ballooning they get up to. And you can see that you can get up there. If you've got level 6 balloons, level six, uh, 5 minions, you can get up to champions as long as you've got a base that can withstand the, the go wipe. Or slow down the go wipe at least. So yeah, so you can see he's got 38% and he's going to be clearing out anything around. I think the Bob can do nothing. So because it's air raid, he can't jump, he can't shoot up. So yeah, that's a typical example of 50% at champion levels using balloons. Now, I the next video that I got is uh, a, a brilliant three-star by Easy Easy Going Gold, Easy Going Gold, which is one of our players, and obviously he's one of our one of the other YouTubers in our clan. He's got an awesome channel. You know, there's a link on my recommended for him so if you guys haven't uh, yet sub, sub, sub team please do so you know at the end of the day he's a brilliant like this is him attacking on a balloon tunnel nine i think yeah, it's a tunnel nine and this is his art when he was on his run up to masters one was i think one of the very first balloon raids that i recorded um uh, from him and he's done a few since then um so yeah, as you can see, he's got level 6 minions, I think is the, one of the days that he got level 6 minions, um, it had just come out, so this is how he does his raids, um, 
obviously balloons in front, minions behind to mop up anything behind it. But hey, got the victory already with the town all down. Minions are following behind the balloons and what more can you say? Perfect, well executed. Uh, the base layout needed a bit of work. Got black walls but everything else is like the air defense is substandard. But, you know, got black walls. Not bad, actually, if you consider the fact that the Town Hall 9's got all black walls. Um, I've seen some very strong Town Hall 9's um, in my things going up to Masters too. Um, but, you know, that's, you couldn't ask more of an attack. That is brilliant. Obviously, he deployed his sandcastle because he was running a bit out of time, so he just wanted to mop up, which is good. Perfect timing. Did nothing else. So if you guys enjoyed this, eh, please hit the like button, subscribe, you know. And my motto is, if you guys want to see more of this, just keep on clashing. Asterix out, man.